What's going on guys? Tulu TRD, we're back here with another video. Um, this one's gonna be a fun one. This is actually the stuff that, well, I'm, I'm really close, sorry. <laughs> the stuff that we're gonna be doing in this uh, video is thanks to Grocery Getter Performance and AMT Tuning. So a huge shout out to them. I'll have their pages linked down below and you guys can go check them out. It's, uh, let's get into this video. All right, so we're recording inside. Um, you can see I've got a couple random things here. The main part of the video is gonna be tomorrow, by the way. Uh, but I just wanna get the video started here. So I'm gonna kinda cover this up. You got 516 heater hose and a three inch coupler. Probably thinking, what the hell are you gonna do with that, right? I'm gonna elaborate, All right? So, as I said before, huge shout out to uh, Grocery Getter Performance and AMT Tuning. We've got some some goodies here, right? So, AMT Tuning shipped me a Camry, or well, this one specifically is from a RAV4, but it's the throttle body from the 2.5 liter, the A25A FKS, and Grocery Getter sent me, that's not it, some goodies, or well, a goodie that they fabbed up. This would be a Camry to Corolla throttle body adapter. So it, it basically adapts the Camry throttle body to the Corolla intake manifold because the holes don't line up. That's why you see this offset. These that are uh, recessed are going to be the ones for the manifold and then the throttle body is gonna sit on this O-ring and these are the, the holes for the throttle body bolts, right? So the reason why it's like that is pretty obvious. Um, these, oops, these three holes here do not line up with the Corolla throttle body. Um, well, they're different than the Corolla throttle body so they don't line up with the intake manifold, which is like I said, that's why it's offset here to be able to adapt to that. So the main project here, well, the main purpose of this is to adapt the 2.5 liter throttle body to the Corolla 2.0. Uh, you're, you're adapting the, the throttle body from the A25 to the M20 properly because the, the holes don't line up. So there's no, there's no real way to do this unless you have an adapter. So with that being said, since I'm gonna be swapping throttle bodies, I'm gonna do what I did in my eighth gen. I'm gonna be bypassing these coolant lines that go through the throttle body. I live in Florida. I don't need to warm up my throttle body when I cold start it, all right? So I'm gonna be looping this with one of the coolant lines that I take off of the car. And then I have the 516th heater hose that I'm gonna to have to cut to size when I figure out how much I need exactly that's gonna go from one point to the other directly instead of passing through the throttle body. So that's why I got a decent size hose here. And if, if it needs to be longer, then I'll go get more. But this this should be more than enough. And then, I mean, Grocery Getter Performance really thinks of it all. They labeled the bolts. I mean, you can kind of tell they're, they're slightly different in size. So it's nice, so you don't get them mixed up. These are gonna go from the adapter to the manifold. Obviously, it says it on the bag. And these are gonna go from the throttle body to the adapter. So I've already kind of mocked everything up. I cleaned this throttle body up as much as I could. It looked, it, it, it was pretty dirty when, when I opened the box earlier. And it, it actually got here sooner than I expected. I'm glad. I, I've been wanting to do this project for a while. <laughs> so yeah, guys, so tomorrow afternoon, we'll be throwing everything on the car. I'll be, uh, I'll have the tripod up and we'll be documenting the install. We'll compare, actually, I want to, to show you guys the measurement on this. 70.8, 71 is the the inlet or the front side back side 
back side is reading 65. So it is tapered, but it is bigger nonetheless. So, anyways, guys, catch you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, what's up? Uh, we are back. Day two. We're actually going to be working on the car today. So, chop this up. Dig in here. Um, let's see here what all we need to remove. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna remove the battery first. Just to remove power from the from the system. Got my my tools and some rags. But when I disconnect the coolant lines down here, I don't get coolant everywhere. Pretty sure this is a 12. Go ahead, start disconnecting things. Start off with the mass airflow sensor here. Take off these vacuum lines. Out of my way. I'm not fighting with it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Power tools make life better. I don't want to tell me any different. allows you to pull this forward slightly so when I remove the intake I have enough room to wiggle it out. So those are three 10 millimeters. If you have the 2J racing intake these are also going to be 10 millimeter. A little dirty. I'll probably take this time to wipe this down, clean this air filter because it's disgusting. All right, I'm back. Um, I smacked the filter a few times on the ground. I got some of the gunk out of there, but it's definitely time for a new filter. Go ahead, undo this other clamp. So now comes the fun part. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start by unclipping this. Set that off to the side. I remove this throttle body. I'm getting cool. That is an eight millimeter. I have to go run upstairs and grab an eight millimeter. All right, we're back. An eight millimeter. Start with this top one. Okay, set that off to the side so I know which one's which. Yeah, so an eight millimeter will work just. There we go. And just like that, the throttle body is off. But the job isn't complete. We have these coolant lines that run from here to here. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm take this and loop it around. If that makes sense. So I have these four. I'm going to here somehow. So, we'll see how this goes. Give a little bit of leverage to pull this off. 
I got the cool lines off. Have this one on. I'm gonna just set it there. Okay, I'm upstairs. I got some brake cleaning. I cleaned up the mess of coolant. Now that we've got that out the way, I kind of cleaned the, the inlet there on the intake manifold also. Um, the stock throttle body wasn't too bad. It had a little bit of gunk around where the throttle body seals. But to be quite honest, it wasn't as bad as I'd expect for a car with almost 60,000 miles on it. Um, you can kind of see it's still a little dirty in there, but I'm comparing it to the, to the new throttle body here. You can see the size difference. It's not much, but it's there. I'm going to measure it. On the video I recorded yesterday, I measured the... Uh, 2.5 liter throttle body from the from the A25. So this is the throttle body from the M20A, the 2.0. We're getting 66 on the front side. And 60 on the back side compared to 71 on the front side and 65 on the back side. So let me see there's a there's a slight size difference. Can go ahead and install the adapter. So these are the adapter to the manifold screws. So we're gonna do these first. These are hex it's five millimeter uh, focus. There we go. this on and I gotta loop this coolant line into here. I gotta cut it. Basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna loop this like that. Because we're not gonna have coolant running through here anymore. It's not necessary. Oh, oh there's a the camera. We'll grab the throttle body to adapter. We're gonna grab the other three screws that are throttle body to adapter. It's the same size five five millimeter hex. Put the throttle body on. So actually, we're gonna run it up like this so it doesn't come in contact with one of the hoses down there. disconnect this to give the cable enough room to be able to plug it in but after i plugged it in it clips back in it looks oh yeah it looks pretty nice um i hand tightened those uh those uh bolts i don't i didn't over torque them or anything like that i don't want them to break so just hand tight it'll be fine that that's not going anywhere i guess the only thing left would be I'm gonna cut this to size. That's coolant, it's red. What the fuck? Don't get that on here. I had to take off the throttle body to set this in properly, but I got it set in. Um, now this is looped. Now I no longer have to worry about this coolant line or bleeding the cooling system when I, when I want to mess with the throttle body. So now it's kind of just reverse order.
that comes back down where that was. This can go back over here. Pull this clamp back down. So now that you've got your intake, it will differ depending on what intake you have. Plug in the mass airflow sensor. And um, you should be good. And then I'm going to put these three back over here in the front. Alright, now we're inside. We have confirmed that the throttle body works. Go ahead and flash the new tune. Here it says stage two, but this is really stage three now. But it's that we're at 7.1. We're gonna go ahead and it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. I'm gonna let this flash and then I'll be back. Almost done. All right, one last very important thing. I already flashed the tune, the tune's flashed with a six millimeter hex. And open this up. gonna to top off the coolant. Mine is pretty big in the middle. So I'm gonna fill it up. All right. this. And now, I should be able to start the car. Alright, so a little update. We are in the heat store real quick. But mine, um, I kind of just left it on for a while. I got about a 20 minute log for, for Jim over at AMT of just the car idling. And I got a couple revs in um, just to get kind of the idle sorted out. The idle's a little iffy still, but the response is pretty good and the exhaust sounds a little deeper, which is pretty nice. The other thing, uh, the coolant system was fine. I, I had the heater on like to try and bleed it just as a precautionary measure but after after I filled it up but it, it was fine um, so I'm gonna go upstairs I'm gonna clean up my hands real quick and then we're gonna take it for for a little test drive and get some more uh, data logs for Jim
here, right? Here in Mexico. What's up guys? I recorded the entire video and I forgot to record an ending. So that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> After these uh, the clips that you saw where I was testing the car, that was on version 7.1, AKA stage three. The car felt really good. There's a lot of torque. The only issue is the idle and throttle down low, very iffy. Um, as to be expected, this is a, a beginning stages of 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 the stage three tune so the issues and the bugs were expected i logged it sent it over to amt i also flashed stage two plus plus version six which is what's currently out it's what i was running on the car before i did the throttle body and the adapter car runs fine it's a little down on torque but it still works it's not running lean or anything like that so what can i say about this um this modification the the adapter to to do it properly where you know you don't have to do any any crazy stuff with your intake manifold or anything like that 110 percent worth it uh th there's nothing better than having something that's plug and play it literally plug and play the the, the bolts work all the plugs line up everything i mean it's you know it's in the name it's, it's literally plug and play with this adapter any any throttle body from the 2.5 the a25a so camry um rav4 off the top of my head those are the only ones that i know that come with that motor you can use those throttle bodies um i i want to say it's 2022 or 2020 plus right or 2019 i don't remember but it's definitely worth it um like I said, the, the car on the version, on the stage three, the, the beginning of stage three, very torquey. Um, definitely, you can feel the bump in power, a bump in torque, a bump in throttle response. Um, 
rev matching is a lot easier now. Um, obviously not heel toe. Heel toe on this car is very weird. Pretty much impossible because of the throttle position. There's a fix coming for that. I'll have a video later on, on later down the road on that. That is that's courtesy of the uh, the GR Corolla community that's working on that, and it does work on the on the standard E210 as well. So that'll be fun. But that's besides the point. We're talking about this uh, throttle body here. Rev matching, amazing throttle response, amazing. Um, I stayed on the state on the version six because the idle and throttle was smoother on this one. It's still a little jumpy a little iffy nowhere near as bad as it was on on that first version of of stage three i was just i just got done flashing um let's see the, the cable here i just got done flashing stage two plus plus version 6.1 which i'm just gonna log a few things for for jim with this thing here it's backwards sorry it's an obd link I'm just going to log a few things for Jim on this file between today and tomorrow. And then sometime next, early next week, I'll flash stage three version one and we'll start logging that. I'll send that over to Jim. He'll look everything over, so on and so forth, make improvements if they're needed, send it back over. I'll log it, whatever. I'm not going to include all that in this video simply because it's just a lot of repetitive back and forth stuff nothing interesting for for you guys obviously um i will i will be making um like like a review kind of video once everything is said and done once grocery getter releases this and amt releases the stage three tune and everything's on the market i've been running it for a month or so i'll make another video on that and i'll post it and let you guys know how everything is but i i know for a fact that so far everything's working perfectly fine just a few bugs so i know it's going to be great and i know from right now i can recommend this for you guys that's going to be uh it's going to be the end here for this video you can dm me on instagram if you have questions um you can dm grocery getter uh jim over at amt i know we'll be glad to answer your questions and one final thing huge shout out to jim over at amt and uh derek and joe over at grocery getter performance this uh this video here and these modifications wouldn't be possible without their support honestly so go show them some love and support and i just want to say thank you to them again i know i've said it a million times in this video but um yeah it's i mean words can't describe how excited i am for the, for this to, to hit the market and for you guys to experience this but yeah guys uh like i said thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.